Okay, so today I'm gonna have a little project here, finally getting around to it. Um, we are going to be setting up the Blink Outdoor camera set here, and we are actually gonna pair that up with one of our Alexa Echo shows here. And we're gonna see how easy it is to put up and uh, how to link it up. So if that's something you're about to do, stay tuned. Here's our sync module, power source for that. Screws, those are for all the cameras. It's the little key system to get to the battery source. Here's all the mounting brackets. Batteries. They say the batteries last two years. We're not going to count on that, but we'll see. Okay, so the first thing it says download the Blink Home Monitor app. So I'm going to need that. Okay, so we're going to go to our app store and get the Blink Home Monitor app download that here's the home screen so we're going to select create new account now when you go here you're going to want to select your country as we are in the United States here and then the proper time zone once that's complete we're going to want to enter our email address and then create a new password to create the actual account now it's going to send you an email so you can verify your email address as well as if you added your cell phone it will text you a code to verify that phone number as well. Now we're going to want to link it up to our Amazon account because we're using our Echo 5 and you just log in with that and hit done and they will successfully link. Now we'll go back to the Blink home page and add device and we're going to add the module here. So we want to access the camera so we can take a photo of the QR code. Select the sync wireless module and then you're going to create that with the QR code and create a new system and name it whichever you'd like. Now it's going to want to join your Wi-Fi network, so accept that. And then you're going to want to look at the module and make sure that you have a blinking blue light and a solid green. That's how you need know you're good to go. Now select your Wi-Fi and put in your password so it can access your network. Now with the sync module set up, we're going to want to add our cameras. So you can see that little plus sign in the top right corner. You're going to want to go ahead and select that. And once again, we are going to want to use our photo camera to capture the QR code. Now you're going to want to take off the backing of the camera just by simply unscrewing that, removing the back plate, inserting the two batteries, and then you can take a photo of the QR code in the bottom corner there. Now it's going to start searching for the camera, and once it finds it, it'll pop up with the actual serial number. Now you're going to use those three bars with the dots, and we can change the name and name it to wherever you're going to place the camera. Now once the cameras are mounted, to get a nice little screenshot, we're just going to hit the little camera button, and then it'll take a quick pic and give you a nice little screenshot for your homepage. Now repeat this for all the cameras, and then once we have that done, we're going to want to link it up to our Amazon. So we'll go pull up the Alexa app, hit devices, hit that little plus sign on the top, and then we're going to add devices. Then we're going to select that we want cameras, and then the brand name, which here is Blink. Now Alexa is going to start searching for that. Once we hit next, we want to enable it, and then it's going to ask us to put in our email address, password, as well as a security code to unlock that. Now we're going to go ahead and sync up the systems and it's going to search for those devices. Once it finds the devices, we're going to go ahead and select the ones that we want added to the Amazon app. Now here you can see the list of all the cameras and I'm just going to go ahead and click on one and you can see it's successfully ready to be used. So you just hit continue 
And you can see Alexa. it in action here. Show patio door. Okay. Okay, so we got four of the five cameras put up and I have one more here that I'm trying to figure out the best placement because pretty much I got everything covered that I wanted to get covered. Um, so we kind of got a little bonus camera here. We're gonna figure out what we want to use with it. But I wanted to recap on how to mount the actual cameras to the wall. Now we'll just use this for just demonstration purposes. So when you're mounting it say to a side of a wall, all you have to do is take the actual mount and I pre-drilled the holes. I used the screws that came with it and I pre-drilled with a 1 8 inch uh, drill bit. Um, you might want to check into a piece of scrap wood just to make sure the screws that you get are the same. But those are the ones that came with it and the 1 8 uh, did fine. And then I just used my drill to screw in the rest of the way. So once I had this screwed though, all I did, if I had it mounted to a wall like this, you're going to want to take this directly to the back where the screw plate was, and it just snaps in there. When you hear it snap, you know you're good. Now, with it screwed on there, you can pivot the camera whichever way you would like it. I also had some that were mounted to overhangs, so it mount like this. Well, if you just click right into it, and then you go to pivot, you're gonna hit the ceiling. You're not gonna be able to pivot it all the way around. That's why you have one of these keys for every single one of these. Because when you go to mount this, you actually put this key into the back. So you have it extended just like that, okay? Then you take that, you actually mount that into a device. A little trickier with it, not screwed to something, but let's get it on there. So now, if you have it mounted to a ceiling, you have a lot more clearance and see how much more you can actually get range in there. So, if you're mounting it to a ceiling, that's the configuration you want. If you're mounting it directly to a wall, you don't need this piece. First, you can put it to the side and you can just mount it straight onto there. Okay, something uh, really important I wanted to cover though, really quick, with the Sync Module 2, it will accept a USB flash drive um, if you want to do local storage. So if you don't wanna pay for the subscription of the cloud system or something like that, you can store it locally on the flash drive, but this, it does require a 64 gigabyte flash drive that does not come with any of the packs, nor if you buy, say, um, a Sync Module 2 by itself, um, like you wanted to add maybe up to 10 cameras and you need a second one of these, they do not come individually with that flash drive. So you're going to have to purchase that on your own. So my thoughts on the Blink camera system, I've actually had them in here for about a week now. Um, and they are quite nice to be able to access um, where you are, wherever you are from the mobile app. Um, I know we still have the ADT, but it's just nice. I, I get nervous when I leave the house just because, you know, we have a pool or something like that. It's nice to know that, you know, neighborhood kids or stuff aren't fooling around with that. Um, and things are locked up and safe. Or I always drive away from the house and I'm like, did I leave the garage door open? So um, it's nice because I've turned around every time and the garage door has been shut, but now I can just pull up my app and I can actually see, yep, the two bay doors are shut, we're good to go. So um, overall, it's nice, it's come in handy. Um, we'll see how long the batteries last. If they do truly last for the two year mark, that would be amazing. But in the app, it actually shows you the battery life and if you need to change them or not. So you're not like gone in the middle of a trip and you realize, wow, one of my cameras and batteries need to replace and I did not replace it. So um, it does work out quite well. 
Now we have a little bit larger home. So for Wi-Fi, I do have a Wi-Fi extender. I have the Nighthawk. Um, I'll leave a little description uh, video link here or somewhere. It's usually right around here or there. Still, I don't know where I'm pointing that you can click on and check that out for yourself because that does help um, quite a bit. Uh, I have no dead spots outside or inside with these cameras. So that does help. If you have weak Wi-Fi, you'll want to look into something like that before you get these camera systems because they do require Wi-Fi connection to them. Um, but for the price of it, it was a great deal when I got it. Um, hopefully they come out with another one of those deals where they bundled the five camera pack and the um what the echo show five which is nice because i can you know actually see the cameras up on that little app there so that being said appreciate you guys supporting the channel as always if it's the first time here we'd love to earn your subscription um, it does help us out as a channel Below are some links if you are interested in anything that was covered in this video and those do help us out So that is amazing if you did use that. So thank you and until next time. Thanks for buzzing by. We'll catch you in the next video